Nederland krijgt te maken met klimaatverandering. Dat staat vast. De geleerden zijn het daarover eens. Als we niks doen, dan lopen we de kans dat grote delen van Nederland aan overstromingsgevaar worden blootgesteld. Dat moeten we niet willen. Hier is de nieuwsdienst voor de Nederlandse Radio Unie verzorgd door het Algemeen Nederlands Persbureau ANP. In verschillende plaatsen in het westen van het land is een noodtoestand ontstaan door abnormaal hoge waterstand. 1953. A northwestern storm drives the water of the North Sea up to a record level. Many dikes are too low or are unable to withstand the pressure of the sea. Large parts of Zeeland, South Holland and North Brabant are flooded. 72,000 people are evacuated. 1,836 are killed. The 1953 catastrophe made a deep impression. Two weeks after the flood, the government formed the Delta Commission to make sure that a disaster like that could never happen again. On the recommendation of this committee, the Delta works were constructed in the following decades, considerably reducing the chances of another inundation. The stormvloedkering in the Oosterschelde is gesloten. The Delta werken zijn voltooid. But have they? Or will they soon fail to meet the requirements of our time? The work on our delta is never finished. The Earth is warming. Virtually all scientists agree on that. The consequences of this global warming are becoming clearer and clearer. The seawater warms and expands. Moreover, the land ice on the North and South Poles will melt, raising the sea level even further. Global warming will also increase the weather extremes. Periods of drought and extreme rainfall will alternate more frequently in the future. Due to the changes in our climate, rivers will first be undersupplied and then overloaded with water. In 1993, and even more so in 1995, the effect of extreme rainfall in the Rhine and Meuse catchment on river discharges became very clear in the Netherlands. We may increasingly face the risk of floods under the influence of the changing climate. In 1995, people were evacuated on a large scale. Crisis teams were formed. The army was mobilized to make sure that everyone could be gotten out of harm's way in good time. Fortunately, it didn't come to a catastrophe, but the message was clear. As a result of climate change, the Netherlands is again threatened by water, both from the sea and through the rivers. This has prompted the government after 55 years to form a new government commission, the Delta Commission II, chaired by Professor Dr. Kees Veerman. The Commission is to investigate the consequences of climate change for the Netherlands and the measures that need to be taken in order to protect the Dutch Delta in the long run. How can we ensure that this country will remain a safe and attractive place to live, work, invest and recreate for many generations to come? The question is, is it acute? No. Is it urgent? Yes. We can dus not nog a poosje wait. And bovendien is it so that de normen die de vorige Delta Commissie heeft vastgesteld, nog lang niet overal worden gehaald. 30% van de dijken zijn te laag. En tenslotte is het zo dat met een vooruitziende blik we deze zaken nu hebben aangepakt en we niet wachten op een ramp, maar juist willen voorkomen dat het ons verrast.